The disappearance of U.S. 700,000 in two months is the nightmare that befell a group of middle-class Chinese. Let me ask you, we were here last time. Are you the highest level of leadership in the reception? I can pass along your feedback. Are you the highest leader in reception? I am in charge of receiving people, regardless of level. Do you understand the current situation, the situation of this building? Do you know? No. Okay, let's record a video here and post it online. Let it travel to Beijing. Our demand is to have our principal and interest returned to us, not a penny less. The key is that I bought 5 million RMB two months ago, or 690,000 US dollars, two months, and 690,000 US dollars are gone all of a sudden. Even the stock market doesn't crash like this, okay? Even if you go to Macau Casino, you can't lose it in a couple of days of gambling. In less than two months, 690,000 US dollars is gone. It's not $500, not 50 cents. It's gone in less than two months. The news broke on July 28th. What have you been doing for the past 15 days? There are no scams like this. No one is better than you guys. You're the ceiling of scams. 690,000 US dollars are gone in less than two months. You guys are wicked. It's unbelievable. This is the power of the Zhongrong Trust crash. Wealthy Chinese of middle or even higher classes can be wiped out in two months. State-owned Zhongrong International Trust, a giant in China's trust industry, is a large seller of financial products. The assets under its management were US $108 billion by the end of 2022. The crisis is the latest alarm in the market. According to the stock exchange filings, the company recently failed to make interest and principal payments totaling 14 million to three listed Chinese companies in connection with four trust products it managed. This is consistent with the reports of the Chinese media Cailian Press and iFeng.com that a former employee of Zhongrong Wealth said that the scale of the products currently suspended was about 48 billion US dollars. Investors have received notices that the products have stopped payment since August 8, 2023. Trusts typically raise money from wealthy individuals and companies to invest in stocks, bonds, real estate projects, and other assets. The two largest shareholders of Zhongrong Trust are the state-owned company Jingwei Textile Machinery Company and the private asset management company Zhangzhe Enterprise Group, the latter of which is one of the largest in the industry. We reported on the Zhangzhe Group's failure in a previous episode. If you're interested, you can click on the link in the description box below. Zhangzhe Group owns several wealth management businesses. If their debt repayment problems and default snowball, it could jeopardize more of the investment products sold to China's many corporations and wealthy individuals. China's trust industry, which has US $2.9 trillion in assets under management, has long been a source of capital for real estate developers. Zhongrong Trust's annual report shows that 11% of its trust assets under management were in real estate in 2022. It purchased stakes in at least 10 real estate projects in 2022, betting that unfinished homes would eventually generate cash. Unfortunately, China's real estate sector has been steadily declining for the past two years. On the other hand, a number of large corporations, including major real estate companies, have purchased products from Zhongrong Trust. Take a look at these famous Chinese real estate developers who are going to be affected by the failing of Zhongrong Trust. These are like giant bombs that are growing more and more powerful. It has also plunged many home buyers and people in the upstream and downstream sectors of the real estate industry into despair.
Ever granddaughters are really out of luck. He came up with a shameless scheme to pay off its debts with real estate. Now that Evergrande has become insolvent, it has proposed to its debtors a program of offsetting its debts with houses. If it's just simple to take the real estate against the debt, then okay. But do you know how disgusting the debt proposal is? What Evergrande proposes is to use 30% of the housing price to offset the debt. The supplier pays the 70 remaining balance for the house. For example, if Evergrande owns you 3 million, it gives you a set of 1 million houses. Then the 300,000 is to repay your debt. But you have to give Evergrande 700,000 in order to get the house. The house might have yet to be built. It owes you 3 million, but you have to give Evergrande 7 million first before getting 10 units from Evergrande. Then you two are cleared. What is shameless? This is shameless. Let's see what kind of earth creature can put forward a solution like this. Even the capitalists must cry upon hearing it. If things are going the way Evergrande has proposed, it can clear its inventory without discount and make a bunch of cash while clearing its debt. I wonder if there are any debtors on the scene who were enraged to overturn the desk and punch them. It's said that these days those who own money are our forefathers, who have to be attended to carefully. Evergrande, who owns money, is like a forefather from a previous life, like a forefather times two. For decades, China has driven its economy by investing in factories, skyscrapers, and roads. This model allowed China to go through a period of rapid economic growth, with export strength sweeping the globe. However, this model is now busted. Today, the U.S. 18 trillion economy is slowing down, the government is mired in debt, millions of apartments are vacant, and investment returns are plummeting. <laughs> No one can stop the real estate crash. Don't buy any real estate now. The day before yesterday, the country garden was said to have crashed, and yesterday the Sino-Ocean Group was said to have plummeted as well. Two months ago, I said that no one could stop China's real estate crash, and it was impossible to do so, right? All the big private real estate developers, the top 10, have crashed. Only one is left. 47 real estate companies, those who ranked in the top 100 in terms of sales five years ago, have collapsed. So the real estate crash can't be stopped by anyone. Let me tell you, the number of houses in China is enough for the entire population, even if nothing were built in the next hundred years. I have more than a dozen buildings across the street from me. They look beautiful during the day, but in the evening, only two or three windows are lit up inside the building. Our neighbors asked the people living there how they were doing in those buildings. They said, it's like a ghost building, you don't see a soul. So how does real estate collapse? Many people have been speculating in real estate with hundreds or thousands of flats in their hands. When their houses come crashing down, he sells them out, and if he cannot sell them, he has to pay property tax every year. So the real estate collapse cannot be stopped by anyone. Don't buy now. You can pick up a home for free in two years, okay? China's average living space is now 40 square meters per person, and the fertility rate is now declining. There is one child per two families, where the man's side owns four or five homes and the woman's side owns four or five homes as well. They have only one child. Is it possible for the child to live in ten sets of houses? How is it possible? So, in the future, you can definitely pick up a house for free, so don't buy any for now. While the recent collapse of the country garden's U.S. dollar-denominated corporate bonds sent shockwaves, Evergrande Group, once the second-largest real estate developer in China, filed for bankruptcy protection in New York on August 17th. As of the end of 2022, Evergrande's loans reportedly amounted to about U.S. $340 billion, or about 2% of China's GDP. While Country Garden, China's number one real estate developer, had debts as high as about US $260 billion. Both are insolvent just the same. China's declining real estate plus poor economy are stacked against each other, and in the end, homeowners who buy the properties are the ones experiencing the bitter consequences. The electric meter door is the worst craftsmanship I've ever seen. See for yourself. What a piece of shit it is. I can't believe this crap is used for such an important part of the house. This community passed the fire inspection on May 30th, but the fire extinguishers were delivered to the neighborhood on July 31st, and the date of manufacture says August. I have two questions. First, how did the fire inspection pass on May 30th, 2023, when there were no fire extinguishers? 
Second, the fire extinguisher was delivered on July 31st, 2023. How come the production date says August? The next problem is the design of the fire door of the connecting room. It obstructs the sunlight on the north side of Unit 2 and Unit 3. Is the designer out of his mind, or did he rush the job? The cutbacks are very serious. Rocks are everywhere outside and inside the construction area. It's dangerous when they fall down. Above the back door of the neighborhood is the connecting porch, but there is no safety measure at all for the back door. There are even more problems inside the units. Here are just a few. The entry door is installed in the reverse direction. How strange. The background wall, which costs 3,000 yuan per square meter for a finely renovated unit, is so trashy. Not only does the formaldehyde level exceed the standard, but the smell is very strong. Also, the quality of the materials is very trashy. Next, let's have a look at the elevator. It's been delivered for so long, but so many elevators don't work well. Some elevators didn't install the air conditioner properly, and the water has already started to penetrate into the circuit board. It's only a matter of time before it breaks down. The basement foundation wasn't laid properly, and it's now waterlogged everywhere. Now, a powerful blower is being used to blow it dry, but what's the use of it? The foundation wasn't built properly, so it's only a temporary solution. In order to fit more cars, the parking space is very narrow. What a piece of garbage. The common areas are cut back big time. The most basic gates and manholes have been reduced. The drainage in the neighborhood is very poor. The drain boards are very thin, and the flow ports are very small, which makes them impractical. So, I'm really concerned that a kid might fall into them someday, so I'm not sure if it's a good idea. The entire neighborhood can't even afford a few benches in the public areas, and the large public areas are empty. The original pond and gazebo are now downsized to a tree, and the flower pot has cracked. The spray paint process is really trashy. It looks like a dog's chew. The landscape was made in a hurry, with dead trees everywhere. Crappy tracks were made in a hurry, with holes everywhere. The exterior wall below the third story is made of foam. I heard that it was made to finish the job when the material didn't have enough. The only fountain in the neighborhood was only opened on the day of the handover, paying for the most expensive property fee and enjoying the most garbage service. The sand pit is made without a drain. When it rains, it becomes a pool. I can't believe they said they couldn't change it. So, how did this even pass inspection? In effect, this is considered okay. A lot of homeowners are at risk of not seeing the house that was built, commonly referred to as rotten-tailed projects. Now, according to the contract we signed, there was no agreement about stopping the mortgage. Hey, why are the funds from the mortgages not being put into this regulated account? This leads to the whole project to have no money to finish the building. We put this loan into the supervisory account. Why hasn't the building been built if money was placed in the supervisory account? The building is rotten-tailed, unfinished. Please show us the record of the mortgage payments. Sorry, this is our internal information that we can't show you. We have been to the construction site. The building isn't roofed yet. If you don't arrange for me to stop the mortgage, I'll be forced to stop the mortgage, okay? Miss, I suggest you don't stop the mortgage. To be put on a bad credit list would affect you big time, and you may be facing a lawsuit from us. We can't afford food now. What's the point of having a good credit rating? You have to figure out who actually violated the law. You violated the law by lending out the money, and you're suing us? Can you take care of this today? In this case, I suggest you sue the developer. I'm sorry. This is a business area where you can't take pictures. The collapse of the financial industries such as Zhangzhe, Zhongrong, and other real estate developers such as Evergrande and Country Garden will likely drag down the financial system. Lately, China's three pillars for its economy have all been hit hard. On August 9, 2023, China's National Bureau of Statistics announced that the Consumer Price Index, CPI, shrank 0.3% in July. Real estate has the attribute of investment. Its crash at this time is devastating to China's economy. More seriously, the last of the three pillars, net exports, are also facing a crisis.
I, as a Chinese living overseas, have a clear sense that other countries in Southeast Asia are replacing Made in China. When you go to buy stuff, no matter if it's run by Chinese or local people, a lot of them will ask you if you prefer Made in China or other countries. Why do they separate China from other countries? It's because, in their impression, Chinese products are of poor quality, they are garbage. But other countries are of good quality and guaranteed products. This concept is already deeply imprinted in their minds. For example, I needed to change a motorcycle tire. I went to a Chinese repair store and the owner told me that if I wanted a good quality motorcycle tire, I should use the ones from other countries, not ones made in China. Another example is the reverse mirror handle for motorcycles. The ones made in China are sold for about $30,000, which translates into 12 RMB, and the ones made in other countries are sold for about seventy dollars to $80,000, which translates into about 30 RMB. You would think the cheap ones from China would sell better, wouldn't you? In fact, we are wrong. Currently, parts made in China are only available at Chinese-owned repair shops. The local motorcycle repair stores won't import Chinese motorcycle parts. That's why our Chinese motorcycle parts have practically been phased out here. There are also many other Chinese products that you can only buy in Chinese-owned supermarkets, and the local supermarkets are almost all out of Chinese merchandise. That is to say, the supermarkets owned by the local people mainly import from other countries. They rarely have Chinese goods anymore, so I think it's time for Made in China to wake up and do a good job of quality control, or else Made in China will decline. That's inevitable, it's time to wake up. Some economists believe that China's economy could quickly slip into long-term stagnation if the CCP doesn't adopt more aggressive stimulus measures and revitalize the private sector. While Beijing has been silencing all sorts of internal voices questioning the state of China's economy, it has been demanding economic illuminism from the media. That is, the media can only make positive spins over China's economy. However, it has become indisputable that China's economy has turned from boom to bust. The three years of the epidemic have brought the economy to a standstill, and the mandatory zero-COVID policy has further aggravated the real economy. China's economy hasn't been able to regain its original momentum. At one time, Chinese officials claimed that the youth unemployment rate exceeded 20%, but in August 2023, the Chinese government stopped publishing the youth unemployment rate. It can be inferred that the previous figures of 20% weren't even true. The real figures were probably too ugly to be announced to the public. A peculiar phenomenon has emerged in China. If one is over 35 years old and loses one's job, the chance of regaining one's job in the industry is very slim. Delivery workers and online taxi drivers, once considered the last resort for many lower and even middle class Chinese, have now reached a state of saturation. I saw the news last night at 9 o'clock that Shanghai stopped admitting vehicles for online taxi audits starting July 22, 2023. At first, I wanted to call my friend and ask him if he had seen the news because we used to joke around and used to say that if we lost our jobs, we'd drive an online taxi or something. But it seems that opportunity has gone since yesterday. In fact, I read that in May of this year, Changsha and a few other cities have already stopped processing the applications. In other words, there are too many unemployed people, and everyone wants to do the job. So now the market is full, so it's too late for us to get into it. The takeout riders should be full as well. So we must cherish the job we have now, be extra conscientious with our customers and appreciate all the work that comes to you. Well, wish us luck.